It is the second part of my Telegram bot tutorial, and our first task is to create a coin market cap parser to get a cryptocurrency prices. Coin market cap provides an API we can use to get needed data, and uh, at the footer we can find a link crypto API. Now you have to register a new account. They have a free plan so it fits to our educational and testing purposes. I have registered already, so I just log in. And here I need an API token. Here, API key, copy key. Next, I am creating a new file tokens.py then I'm creating a new variable CMC coin market cap token that equals to a string. And between quotes, I'm pasting coin market cap token, save tokens py, and close the file. Here in the main.py file, I just import this coin market cap token variable from tokens import. CMC token. Next, I'm creating an entry point if main block. This block checks whether the file main.py was run from the console or just imported to another file. And I'm creating a new function main with a pass statement for a while. Our parser should perform requests to a certain coin market cap API endpoints, and these requests will perform with the request library we have installed. Then our parser have handle response of the coin market cap servers, clean and return to us necessary data. So let's import the request library. And then I'm creating a new function. Let's say get coin market cap data that has only one parameter, crypto variable that is a ticker of a cryptocurrency. Then I have to specify a URL address to perform requests to. And now let's look at coin market cap. API documentation. Here is a link at the bottom. And the authentication section tells us that all requests we should perform to this URL address. And also we have to supply a token, our token via a custom header this header or via a query string parameter. I will use a custom header. Scroll down and I need an endpoint. Full endpoint list section and I will use this one. Cryptocurrency quotes latest. And here at the right column, there is an example, copy link address and paste it here. And from this example, I need only this part. This part includes only API endpoint and the particular parameters I will specify in the dictionary that I will pass into the get method of the request library. So I'm creating a new dictionary params, a symbol key, this parameter, symbol key, and the value of the key will be crypto crypto, the ticker of the cryptocurrency. And I want to specify the convert key and uh, the value will be USD in uppercase. I will delete it. Then I have to create a headers dictionary 
and I need a custom header. This one. API key. Copy and paste it as the key of the headers dictionary. And the value of the key will be CMC token. CMC token variable. And now let's perform a request to the CoinMarketCap API. So I am creating an R variable that is response requests library call the get method. The first argument is URL address API endpoint and headers parameter equals to headers dictionary and uh, params parameter equals to params dictionary. According to the CoinMarketCap API documentation, a CoinMarketCap will return JSON object. So I want to see JSON object as a Python dictionary. And now let's print out the R variable and call get coin market cap data function inside main function and as an argument i have to specify the cryptocurrency ticker btc let's say and uh, save and run the script and now we can see the response of the coin market cap this is a json object converted to a python dictionary it is hard to read and for testing purposes, I like to have saved and prettified JSON files. And to do so, I'm creating a new helper function. Let's say write JSON function that accept some data. And I have to import JSON library and also let's say the second argument of write json function will be a file name file name with default value response json next step uh, as i want to write the data variable to the file i have to use the with context manager then I'm calling the open function that will create or open a file and I have to pass into it a file name. So the first argument is file name. By default it will be response JSON. And the second argument is a W letter that means write. So we are opening a file name file for writing and save this opened for writing file object to a variable let's say f inside with a statement json module calls its method dump and here i am passing what i want to save it will be data variable where I want to save it will be f variable the file object with the file name then I want to prettify the object and uh, indent argument will be equal to two spaces or maybe four spaces and if I want to see non-Latin characters, I need to specify uh, the ensure ASCII to false. And now let's call write JSON function from get coin market cap data function. Let's say here write JSON and uh, our variable as an argument save and run and now we can see that there is a new file response json let's open it and we can see a prettified dictionary great and finally 
we want to get a USD price. So we need a data dictionary, a BTC dictionary as well. Then this BTC dictionary has a quote key, USD key, and then price key. So inside the get coin market data function, I'm creating a price variable. that equals to the R variable, it's a dictionary. And then I have to pass a key to the R dictionary to get a value. And I'm passing into it the data key, data key, that is another dictionary. And the data dictionary has a key named BTC. And this name will be vary depending on the search query. So we looked for BTC price and that is why the data dictionary has the BTC key. For another cryptocurrency the key will be different. And so I have to pass into the data dictionary our crypto variable without quotes. Crypto. Next. A BTC dictionary has a quote key, then a USD in uppercase USD, and then a price key. And now let's return the price variable. Return price. And here let's print out. the call of getcoin market cap data with BTC as an argument. Save and run. And we can see the price of Bitcoin. We have finished a coin market cap parser and the next step is to create a telegram bot.